Hi Aquarius, uh, it's Elle here to do a quick love reading. Well, I don't know if it's going to be quick, but uh, we got a lot to cover, but it is a love reading. It could resonate with you. It could not. It is okay if it doesn't. Just leave uh, quietly, if you will. Um, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, um, what we have on the board is the Nine of Swords, okay, Nine of Air, and the Will of Fortune, okay. What clarifies the Nine of Swords is the Star card. The bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands, or the King of Fire. bottom of this deck we have the four of wands okay um what wanted to present itself to me was the eight of swords all right so um let's see where we start all right so aquarius it looks like um some of you and i know some of you going to try to beat me up in the uh, comment section but it is what it is i'm gonna read the cards you beat the cards up you take it up with spirit some of you are focused on the past okay a little too focused on the past to where maybe it's causing you a bit of worry anxiety some negativity in your mind just despair you may be at a place of isolation okay because you're trying to figure out what, what's happening here for some of you, you made a mountain out of a molehill, but you felt like you had your reasoning. Um, some of you could just be going through some hormonal men menopause. Some of you just really need to get in control of your emotions because they, they're affecting your thought process. Some of you are overthinking about a past situation or a past person and it's causing you some migraines. And this person may be thinking about you also. Um, also, you're thinking about... There's been a breakup. There's been a breakdown in this connection. And it could have broken down in a very volatile way. There were words spoken that maybe you shouldn't have said, you didn't want to say, you didn't want to go there. But me seeing the Eight of Swords, this was this card sometimes talk, talks about, um, it talks about the air of being good nature when good nature becomes disastrous. So the air of being good nature when good nature becomes disastrous. So what that says is Aquarius, you were taken for granted. You were kind of a doormat. You let it happen and then you blew up and now you're at a place of thinking did i overdo it did i overstep my boundaries did i make a mountain out of a molehill and maybe even a person the person that you kind of blew up on is telling you that you went too far you took it too far this is too much the the offense doesn't match the punishment and now you're at a place of overthinking it, going over and over this issue in your mind, um, which is causing anxiety and for you to be tense. Um, you're regretting the offense, you know, and kind of refusing to forgive yourself. Maybe even wanting to turn back the hands of time. Being too hard on yourself, because right now you're only focusing with the nine of swords, you're only focusing on your sins. What you're forgetting is that there is cause and effect. There had to be a cause for you to have such an effect or you take such a great effect or for the result to be whatever it may have been. Back to the air of being good natured when nature becomes disastrous. Okay. Um, you dealt with a lot in a situation, Aquarius, to the point where you got to a boiling point. And when you got to that point, it looked as if you were blowing things out of proportion when you really weren't. 
it was just more of it boiling over. See, the one thing about Aquarius is Aquarius is tolerant, not patient. Most times a true Aquarius is you can have different aspects in your chart, your birth chart, which make you different ways. But the true nature of Aquarius is tolerant. Tolerance is different from patience because patience says that you accept a person for who they are and you choose to deal with them always in the same manner. However they, they act or whatever they do, you're going to remain stable, unchanging, unwavering, patient with them. Tolerance is to quantify something. So that is to say, this person has but so many times to do this, to say this, to act this way, and then I'm going to become intolerant. Therefore, you may get a violent outburst with the nine of swords, and I may and I might regret what I did or what I said in that nine of swords because I was tolerant all of those times before. And that is the air of being good natured when nature becomes disastrous. So Aquarius, I don't mean to beat up on you and this is not, you know, all about you, but well, it is all about you as you're reading, but um, it's, it's not to say that you're the bad person here. It's just to say that you need to learn how to deal with situations when they arise. Because when you deal with them later on, you get the nine of swords type of situation. Okay. And then now you're, you're unforgiving of yourself, what you did because you're focusing on your own sins. Okay, you're focusing on, on your own transgression here. And now the force of nature is asking you to shine that light, Aquarius, the star card on yourself, your personality, and how you deal with maybe even friends, groups of people, um, another person. It's, it's asking you to shine that light on yourself in terms of how you deal with adversity. Or when you deal with adversity, because it seems that to me, looking at these cards is a timing issue. Adversity had always been there within some love relationship or friendship group. But you, you chose to deal with it in the latter. Therefore you get a nine of swords type of outburst result this could have happened with um yeah there was a breakup okay and there was a breakup because somebody had enough and they did the unthinkable they said the unthinkable they went there with the person because someone was being taken advantage of This could have been a verbally abusive relationship. It could have been some danger associated with it. Someone could have been being overly dramatic or now there's a place, there is opportunity. See, okay, I'm getting a spirit. All right, okay. The progression, okay. The eight of swords, the nine of swords, and then the 10, the will of fortune. What the cards want you to understand is that when you don't deal with things head on, when you do not eliminate triggers, but you just tolerate them, um, you're setting yourself up for, again, to be taken advantage of. And this is when um, your good nature is used against you or becomes disastrous. How so? When you don't deal with things head on, when you first see them, when you first see red flags, when there are triggers, when someone has made you upset, when someone has made you feel less than, whatever it may be, 
when you don't deal with it right there and you don't isolate this the issue right then and there then you get the blow up right you get you get a blow up you get you get to be the volcano aquarius therefore someone else gets to play the victim because i'm seeing the ten of swords in this will of fortune the ending was that because you blew up aquarius now this person gets to play the victim and be overly dramatic. And they get to be the martyr and seek attention because you, you no longer were taking their shit, taking their stuff. Because you got to a place of being, you know, it being uh, intolerable. You couldn't tolerate it anymore. But now this person gets to point the finger at you and say, you're the bad person, you're the bad guy. Because they only, they're only isolating the event by, by one event. Aquarius blew up on this person for several different reasons, several different events, several different triggers, several different red flags. And that is not the way you deal with things. And this is what the universe wants to tell you, Aquarius, because now this person gets to be the victim. And now you're in a space of um, regretting what you did and you kind of can't forgive yourself and you're going over and over the issue, the event over in your head, because now you're made to believe that you took it too far. You're dealing with somebody who has the capacity to see it from both sides, see different points of view with the King of Wands. You could be dealing with Sag just coming up heavy with the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, a male Cancer, maybe even a Gemini. Someone, and this also could be vice versa. Somebody blew up on you too. And they did not take your emotions, your feelings into account uh, when they blew up on you. They blew up on you for several different reasons or events. And they didn't, um, you know, and they looked as if they were over exaggerating or being overly dramatic at, at that point. So it could also be vice versa. But I'm really feeling like this was you, Aquarius. It says in the star card, there's a need for you to heal some aspect about yourself. There's also a need for you to, there's a need for you to heal some aspect about yourself. There's also opportunity for you to come back together with this person. Even if you don't see it right now, there is opportunity for you to come back together with this person, with this, this friend. I think what this brings to you, Aquarius, is social awareness, okay? Your hopes and your wishes of the future or maybe a future with this person, it could, you guys could definitely come back together because the Four of Wands talks about reunion. It talks about celebration. It talks about um, achievement. Then you've got the Two of Cups coming out. It talks about um, healing a severed tie. And we saw that the ties were severed here. We talk about letting bygones be bygones. It is what it is. It was what it was. <clears throat> I think you know, and this other person knows that there's opportunity for you guys to come back together to resurface. Hang on. Hang on. I needed to drink some water, sir. Excuse me. Um, this person right now could be really tied to their home. Like they're not going anywhere. And they're thinking about you heavily. Yep. They're thinking about having a new start with you. They're thinking about you sexually. Um, <clears throat> you could have known this person for a very long time because I keep on hearing the song. Uh, Ruben Stutter. This is my sorry for 2004. We're way out of 2004. I don't know. You could have known this person for 2004. Something could have happened in 2004. Um, maybe there's an ending to a relationship in 2004. It even could be a friend. 
or a friend group or something of that nature. And then when I said, and I was shuffling off camera and meditating, I kept getting that song, you know, that Ruben said it's song 2004. Okay, you add up 2004, you get six. And then I, I said the six of swords, not sorry, the six of cups. Yeah, somebody wants to come back. Somebody wants to have a reunion. Someone understands that the lack of maturity plays a big part in your in you guys' relationship. Um, somebody wants to come home, a homecoming. Um, and it also could, once again, be in friend groups. You could get back together with old friends. In love, it says that maybe you can rekindle an old romance um, or you'll find a sweetheart in um, a place that you grew up in. You know, maybe you go back to your childhood town or that you grew up in or whatnot. Um, it says also with the Six of Cups is that you and somebody else, there's argument and disagreement because of immaturity and somebody's unwillingness to take uh, responsibility for their actions. The both of you need to take a more grown up approach in terms of dealing with one another. It looks like the universe is going to bring this back together, but not before healing. Healing of the ego, making better choices, get, um, maturity, get coming up again. Some of you need to de declutter and decomplicate because in some of somebody's stuck in the past here. <clears throat> also, for some of you, you need to connect backwards. You need to go back to your roots and see if there's any childhood trauma. Um, some of you lash out before, you know, the, it's a way of protection, protection me mechanism. Um, you're very kind. Um, yeah, you're very kind and you have a good heart, but I think you know that. So you always are in protection mode of that. And if, if anybody is uh, at a place of where it feels like they're going to take advantage of you or they have taken advantage of you, you go into attack mode, Aquarius, um, especially with this Queen of Swords coming up. And you'll tear the whole house down. You'll burn the whole house down. Um quintessentially and, and start all over again somewhere else and it, it's like the universe wants to tell you that you can't keep doing it oh, wow shit I just heard they can't keep sending you people Ooh, Aquarius I don't know what's going on here but it looks like there might be a reunion with somebody and, I, and, and if it's someone that you never want to come back to then it's not that person maybe it's another person I don't know um, it also could be someone new and maybe the universe wants you to get to a place of understanding how to deal with adversity conflict triggers because you can't just be so tolerant because the adverse of tolerant is intolerant and then you'll get outbursts and then, you know, people don't understand all the time, um, you know, your your frame of mind and, and what is happening with you. There is some somebody here who understands and they want to come back to you. Could be a Capricorn. This person may have had their ways about themselves, um, put you in third parties. This person wants to tame themselves they want to come back again they feel like they can't deal with the ending of this relationship a lot of comeback cards this person could be watching you thinking of ways of, of how they can have the opportunity to um, profess their love to you to be more romantic to have more of a solid connection to work on the relationship again to move forward um, there may have been two choices or this person could be planning union, like reunion, union, marriage, more structure, because they feel like you make them absolutely happy. And they're trying to manifest again, opportunity to talk to you. They thought about it, they had time uh, away from you and they want to renew this. They want to salvage the connection. Um, they want to take the middle ground 
they understand that there's more here than than the I meets. Maybe somebody is understanding your connection now. You don't have to take this person back. You don't have to. You don't want them. You don't want them. But even if you don't take this person back, Aquarius, for some of you who dealt with this situation for a very long time and um, may have not um, conflict resolution, decomplicate and declutter maturity, deal with things head on, straightforward. You don't like it. You don't want to be involved in it. You say exactly what you mean. You just don't let it, you know, don't just sweep it under the rug. And then when the rug gets too large to walk over, now you want to bring everything out from under the rug in which some people don't understand. And then they have the opportunity to play the victim here. They can, they can spin the narrative, hence the will of fortune. And they can spin it to the point where they can say that you are the volatile one. You are the one that ended the relationship. Um, but it was just more so Aquarius being good natured and then got to a place of intolerance. And then there was lashing out. So deal with conflict head on um, you gotta sacrifice some part about yourself because um, it's not working for you it's working against you and this whole I see everything it's just a matter of when I'm going to say it type of energy is not working for you if you see it and you don't like it you need to speak on it because if you speak on it at a later date and you have a running tab or list of shit that this person has done to you it's just going to look as if you're making mountain out of molehill when you really aren't you really you're coming at this person or these persons for all of these different transgressions okay when in turn you should have dealt with all of them individually when they presented themselves to you But even in all of this, it, it looks like somebody wants to come back to you, Aquarius. Even if you like, you curse them out from the top to the bottom, this person still wants to, um, they want to rectify this situation. I don't know why. Um, let's, let's talk about why and what this person has to say to you in the extended. Let's see. Um, let's get a preview of the extended of what this person wants to say to the Aquarius. Um, and I ask distinct questions in terms of when I pull those cards uh, initially off camera. Like, is this the Aquarius or is this the other person? And the star card came out. So Aquarius, you could have been the person that ended the relationship. Um, and of course, some of you aren't. And that's okay. Um, but some of you were the person that ended the relationship and you may have ended it in a very volatile manner, verbally or could have been physically. I hope not. Um, but anyway, anyhow, um, Aquarius, let's move forward. What does this person want to say to the Aquarius? What does this person want to say to the Aquarius? What does this person want to say? Okay. What does this person want to say to the Aquarius? What is this? Whoa. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Um, Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius. Wow. You see it just fell, the world. This, um... This person wants to, so there might be some surprise communication that comes into you, okay? They want a new chapter here. They want to start something new. Um, they, they, they feel like they have learned a lot with you. You have taught them a lot with the world card. The world card is significant of this, the snake that 
you know, it's eating its uh, own tail. You've learned the lesson, the life set, the life lesson that was in this relationship, that was in this connection. So, and, and there's no more to complete here in that lesson. So there's only opportunity to start something new, uh, something different. So this person definitely, you know, wants to, they want to start something new with you. Let's see. Let's go over to the extended. This person has a lot to say. Some of you could be dealing with Scorpio. Scorpio coming up again. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo. Cancer. And Virgo. All right. So let's go over to the web to the website and see what this person wants to say to you in the extended reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting. All links are below. Get your own personal reading. You can also um, donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. You can ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you.